Hi, this is Simona Netherlands at the uh, Respect for Horses barn full of rescued horses. Um, giving you a little bit more information on what's happening on the subject of horse slaughter today. On Thursday, October 11th, the European Commission published a document from the Food and Veterinary Office which evaluates the operation of controls over the production of horse meat for export to the European Union. On Friday, October 12th, horse slaughter plants temporarily shut down, reportedly because of failure of compliance with these European food safety standards on one or more shipments that arrived in France. Horse welfare organizations and many Americans alike were hopeful that this was a permanent situation and that an end had finally come to the cruel and fraudulent foreign horse slaughter industry that is preying on our American horses. On Monday morning, October 15th, it became apparent that it was only temporary and that horse slaughter plants were opening their doors once again to American horses trucked across our borders. This document right here, which is um, the European Commission Food and Veterinary Office document, and this document states, their measures need to be taken to ensure the validity and authenticity of the affidavits for horses of U.S. origin slaughtered for export to the European Union linked to their traceability. What's been happening is these kill buyers have just been filling out these forms themselves, which is completely and utterly fraudulent in order to purposely deceive the end consumer of the horse meat who's unknowingly consuming Horse meat, that's carcinogenic and very unhealthy. Horses in America are not bred nor intended for slaughter. Therefore, pretty much any horse owner knows these simple medications, which uh, like this one, it's a uh, phenylbutazone, and it is like aspirin for horses. Uh, any horse owner knows that if your horse is in any kind of pain, this is the thing to give it. Um, for example, dewormer. Any horse owner knows that you need to deworm a horse or he will get worms. It simply says not for use in horses for human consumption. The fact of the matter is that in America we do not breed and we do not intend horses for slaughter. And because of this fact, um, every single horse in the racing industry and most every single horse uh, owned by private owners has at one point in their life received um, any one of these medications and there is over 130 of these substances that are actually banned for food safety purposes. So it's, it's a serious serious food safety issue besides for the horse welfare issue and besides for the issue that it's about your tax dollars that are funding this unspeakable cruelty to our American horses. Do we need horse slaughter in America? That's what they would like us to believe. They would like us to believe that horse slaughter is a service-oriented business that will help us get rid of old and decrepit and sick horses. This is not the case. Horse slaughter, just like any other business, is a for-profit, demand-driven business. And 92% of all horses slaughtered, according to the USDA, are perfectly healthy and in the prime of their life. The, the amount of horses slaughtered is determined by the demand of horse meat abroad, not by any amount of unwanted horses. What about abused and neglected horses? The simple fact that we have abused and neglected horses means that those horses did not end up in horse slaughter. Their owners chose to abuse and neglect them instead of sending them to slaughter. Horse slaughter is available at every auction in the country. These people hung on to their horses, perhaps despite the, their ability to take care of them, because they did not want to see them end up in slaughter. Therefore, horse slaughter will never be a, a solution for this demographic of horses. Can there ever be a passport or traceability system? Well, you can trace it all you want, but it's going to be based on fraud and lies because the fact remains that horses in America have received substances that are banned for human consumption because they were never intended for slaughter. So you can trace it, but you're going to find out that they've received the substances, then you're going to have to lie about it, and then you're going to have to trace that, and that's what they're going to be trying to do. But it will only be based on fraud and lies. Respect for Horses and our sister organizations are asking 
for horse breed associations to take more responsibility. Um, instead of encouraging the breeding of horses, please discourage the breeding of all horses right now until the market stabilizes itself again. Turn those breed incentives into funds for horse rescues, into funds for gelding clinics, into funds for humane euthanasia. All we need is a little bit of a different attitude towards horses today. They are not a disposable product. After all, horses have literally brought us and carried us from the past into this day and age. They have gone the distance for us. They have plowed our fields and they have fought our battles. Let's all have a little more respect for horses. All horse welfare organizations are asking our legislators to please co-sponsor the American Horse Slaughter Prevention Act, which is S1176 in the Senate and HR2699 in the House. We need to pass the American Horse Slaughter Prevention Act now. Thank you.